you're not prepared um, because your why isn't strong enough. Um, so then once you start really hitting that diversity, you just kind of back off of it and, and then walk away. What are the key takeaways from your career thus far? Um, I'd say the, the biggest takeaway is just consistency. Um, it's just, you know, being able to, on a consistent manner, show up. Um, and it's something that's kind of been able to put me in places where I, I couldn't even really imagine, um, just because I showed up. Um, and it's, you know, so, and then um, recently, last year also, I started joining um, professional associations. Um, so real estate specific professional associations. Um, so, I mean, that's been tremendous also meeting, you know, other key players um, within the industry. So, you know, showing up and always looking to meet more people, um, what I've found so far have, have really been um, like those, those things that have allowed me to excel. Mm -hmm. What advice do you think you would give to anyone looking to get into real estate development? Um, <laughs> strap your boots on tight. <laughs> I mean, but it, it, it's, it's really um, just like anything. It's one of those things where, you know, once you kind of realize what your why is. Um, so, you know, real estate can be a tool to do anything. Um, so as, as I meet people, um, you have some people that they just want to get into real estate because they want to get, they have a certain amount of money that they want to make so that they can then open up a restaurant or, so real estate can be be a tool that's used. So it's one of those things where it's like, you know, check your why. Um, because although real estate can be that tool, um, it's not gonna come easy. Um, so, you know, there's there's nothing more time wasting for you or money wasting if, you know, you're not prepared um, because your why isn't strong enough. Um, so then once you start really hitting that diversity, you just kind of back off of it and, and then walk away. Um, so it's, you know, one of those things, check your why. And then, you know, if you know that your why will drive you enough, um, then it's about becoming obsessed with learning, becoming obsessed with doing, um, becoming obsessed with showing up day in and day out to really put one foot in front of the other um, to really make it happen. Do you think that obsession for learning and consistency is something that can be taught uh, or do you think you're just born with it? Um, I think it's something that, that can be taught because um, it, it's really like we're really talking about discipline, um, discipline and, and sacrifice. Um, so, you know, sacrificing, you know, one thing for this other thing. Um, so that's something that, you know, a person has to make up in their mind that they want it first. Um, and then, you know, once they've made that up in their mind, then their actions kind of follow. Um, so I'm not sure if it's more um, something that, that you teach rather than something that um, is kind of there once you make up your mind to do something. Mm -hmm.